I'm looking into the Antarctic springtail, which is a small little bug in Antarctica. It's about one and a half millimetres. They're pretty much top of the food chain in Antarctica. So it's a really simple system and these are the biggest guys in the little soils there. There's the southern McMurdo dry valleys, which is this expansive desert, and there's only one species there, and it's not until you get to this area called the Mackay Glacier that the two other rarer species occur. And these are actually quite rare and haven't actually been studied very much. So some of the only records we've got of them uh, date back to the 60s. We were actually getting the first records of species from these locations and or going to a spot that hasn't seen springtails or haven't. Springtails haven't been collected from there since the 60s. So we've actually um, discovered three distinct new populations which are quite different from the other ones. Much of Antarctic research is trying to answer the big question of what's going to happen to these systems in the future as a result of global climate changes. But one of the main limitations of that is we still don't really know what's there now. And until we discover these things and find out like baseline levels of diversity, then uh, we won't be able to like predict what's going to happen in the future. And there's so much of Antarctica and that's still unexplored and undersampled.